guys, welcome to my new video and today we'll be doing a little look at add-on managers and many of you might have heard of that the Twitch client, the mod managing side of that is going away very soon and where does that leave many of us who like to keep our add-ons updated with a few clicks? What's gonna happen? As many of you have heard that there's going to be a new CurseForge client being released and that is going to be basically the replacement for Twitch client and it actually resembles it in a lot of different ways. And today I'll be doing a review and basically a little testing of this mod manager in order to basically share my opinions about this. Now, keep in mind, this is very important, this video is sponsored and I've been approached by the new CurseForge people and I've had discussions with them and honestly, those discussions were really, really open. I was really surprised by the transparency and they wanted all of my feedback in terms of how to make the app better, my feedback in terms of... Basically, they wanted to know what I thought about this and most importantly, they wanted to They wanted me to give an honest review which believe me is very rare in these kind of cases now as you know I don't do a lot of sponsored videos not because I don't get a lot of offers because I want to only promote products that I find useful or products that I actually would use so as I was going to do a video about this anyways, it felt like a win-win situation to be sponsored by them, to give an honest review. And honestly, I'll be approaching this video in terms of my concerns, in terms of the improvements. And I'll be looking at CurseForge client in terms of, hey, is it better than the Twitch client? Let's go. You may have heard of CurseForge in terms of their website. Their website has a lot of World of Warcraft mods on there. And if you look at some of the most popular add-ons, you'll notice that a lot of them have millions and millions of downloads. And basically the CurseForge client is going to try and streamline the process of finding and installing and maintaining your add-ons in a, in a way that is very similar to the Twitch client. If you actually look at the overall feel of the CurseForge client, you'll notice that it's very familiar. There's nothing really uh, in terms of user interface that shocks you or feels brand new or confusing. And I feel that's a very, very good thing. Now, in terms of the concerns, you'll notice that the first time you're going to launch the client itself, there's going to be a pop-up saying that, hey, privacy is an issue. You might have concerns about privacy and you're able to opt out of it if you want to. So let's go and check out how you do that. The first thing you'll notice is that the user interface is very familiar, which is a very good thing in my opinion. So let's look at how you can opt out of certain data collection. You can go to settings and open privacy tab. And in Privacy tab, you can open Overwolf settings. In here, you'll get a bunch of little toggles to so basically customize the data that you want collected or not. You'll see the two big toggles here is that one of them is going to personalize the client for you, which is use data to customize Overwolf for you. You can disable it if you want. Click yes. You can use data to optimize performance and stability, which maybe people or the developers use to improve the application over time. But if you don't want it to collect it, just disable it. And at the same time, you also have GDPR settings as well in terms of personalized ads. You can click on manage. You can, you'll can you see a thing at the bottom which says reject all purposes. You can click that and you can save and exit. I've also been told that during the onboarding wizard or the pop-up menu, you'll have an easier way to access the option menu where you can customize all of this data depending on what you need or want. A lot of the other apps might not even have this or it might be hidden away. It won't be added as a... You know, the pop-up that you get at the very start. They want you to know that the feature is there, which I think is very, very interesting. I don't know the concern a lot of people had, including myself, were ads and how that's going to be handled. Is it going to be intrusive? Is it going to be annoying? And generally speaking, their ad revenue model or how they're going to split it up, there is a lot of information out there about this and you can read a lot of, again, they're very transparent in terms of how they're going to be doing this. And Honestly, at least 70% of the ad revenue is going to go toward add-on creators, which I feel, at least my personal opinion, if an add-on creator or, a, or an author can actually live off or can sustain themselves by creating these add-ons and making them better, that's just going to improve the game more, at least in my opinion. And generally speaking, the ad location is going to be somewhere here. You can see it here. So generally... My opinion on this is that if the ads are not going to be intrusive and they don't seem to be intrusive, I am more than welcome to have them here if I know that it's going to support the add-on creators, if it's going to help them to make those add-ons better. I think it's honestly a win-win situation for everybody because everyone's going to have, to some extent, a better user experience in one way or another. And the last thing that I want to talk about in terms of my possible concerns is that there is going to be two applications running in the background. There's going to be the Overwolf application and there's going to be the CurseForge client application. This makes sense because the Overwolf is the actual framework. 
think of it as the car engine and think of CurseForge client as basically everything else but the engine. So this is not a problem for me because my usual experience in terms of updating adults is going to go something like this. Let's say for example, when Channel is going to be released, I'm going to be launching CurseForge client. I'm going to be waiting for the loading screen to load up. I will see the list of all add-ons that need to be updated. I will click update all. It's going to unzip. It's going to do a updating of add-ons. And you can see it was really, really quick. And I'm going to click the little X icon to close the application. Now, because the CurseForge client gives you an option in settings to exit CurseForge and over when you exit the application, all I need to do is just exit the app and everything is going to be closed down. Now that I've addressed some of my concerns and hopefully some of your concerns, I want to talk about the advantages of the client. What is new? What are the advantages? And one of the things that I want to mention is that there's going to be a development team associated with this client and they're going to be updating it, making it better. And there's actually a public roadmap available to see when the next update or what is the next update. And I feel that kind of transparency is very welcome. And the fact that there's going to be a development team and they want your feedback, I feel is very, very important. You can go through things like support and you can go and suggest a feature if you really, really want to. And as a direct result, you can actually see from the November newsletter that a lot of the suggestions and improvements by the users were actually fixed and addressed, which I feel is a very, very positive sign. I just showcase how to update add-ons. You can use update all. You can, again, there's going to be a sync feature coming very soon. It's on the roadmap. That's going to basically sync your add-ons across multiple devices. Very, very popular among a lot of people. You can see that they're also trying to include version control, which was a bit of an issue in Twitch client where maybe certain versions of the add-ons, like you installed a classic version of Grid 2 instead of the retail version and it kind of messed up. So they're trying to fix that as well. You can see that the search feature, I feel is probably one of the biggest advantages. All of a sudden I can type in, for example, I don't know, DBM. I want to get DBM and you can see that, hey, I already have Deadly Boss Mod. Besides that, you can also go to get more add-ons and you'll get all of this. Again, this was very similar. You'll get to see the popular add-ons. You'll get to go to see new releases. This is where maybe new mod authors will be able to feature their work. You can go to view all and you can again notice Deadly Boss Mod has been downloaded 295 million times, which is pretty insane. And you can see that I already have it. And of course, I kind of mentioned before, but there's going to be automated add-on install feature available as well. If you want to enable it, you can go to the World of Warcraft section. You'll see auto install updates. So if you keep the client in the background, it'll install add-ons by itself. Depending on how you want to use it, again, you can enable and disable this. And depending on what your process is or daily basis for updating add-ons, I feel for me personally, this client is going to hit all my needs. And this is why I wanted to do a video because I feel this client is a direct upgrade over Twitch client. I feel the fact that there's going to be a dedicated development team improving this is really, really important. And also, again, there were quite a few concerns that I had and maybe you have. And hopefully this video shed some light on it. I was really impressed by the transparency of the client itself, transparency of the team that approached me. And uh, if I really was looking at this client without any previous history or... I think this client is a very good addition to World of Warcraft add-on management. Again, you don't have to use this if you're still manually installing add-ons to CurseForge. That's fine. I just wanted to give my opinions about the client itself. I wanted to give my opinions in terms of how it can improve your add-on updating cycle and things like that. And again, this was a sponsored video. It helps to support the channel, but I was going to be doing a video on this anyways. And I was pleasantly surprised about how the client feels what the feedback is or how they appreciate the feedback. And honestly, let me hear what you think about this. If you want to try it out, there's going to be a link in the description. If you want to ask me any questions, let me know and I'll see you in my next video.